mind-altering party hero, there are two basic approaches when it comes to truth. One is the Socratic method, to simply sit back, turn off your ego, and ask simple questions. Questions that will eventually prove to your conversational partner that nothing they believe is really, really true. This can also be done with the meta model. Somebody says X is better than Y, for example, and they believe it is a legitimate objective truth, not an opinion. But with a few meta model questions, you can prove it is only an opinion. And Socrates was famous for proving that everything in anybody's brain is really an opinion. Of course, we really, really like our opinions. In fact, most of us have opinions that are closely connected to our self-identity. So wandering around disproving everybody's opinions isn't the best way to make friends. Similarly, Marcus Aurelius, Emperor of Rome, the philosopher king, also had a similar idea, that everything is opinion. Only he took his opinions and made them sound much more compelling than everybody else's, using the ancient art of rhetoric. Sometimes our opinions make us feel good. Sometimes our opinions make us feel bad. And if these opinions are in any way connected to our self-identity, this could be fantastic or it could be horrible. Suppose you really believed that the world was conspiring to help you succeed beyond your wildest dreams. A false belief to be sure, but suppose you really believed this. Every time you got rejected by a girl or didn't make a sale or didn't get the job, you saw this as proof that the universe was helping you to get something better. Not a bunch of puffed up mirror screaming LOA mumbo jumbo, but you truly believed this. You'd always be in a good mood. It would be hard to get you down. You'd be a nice guy to be around. But suppose the opposite happened. You truly believed no matter what happened, the world was out to get you. That even if you succeeded, you believed it was evidence that the world was setting you up for a much larger smackdown later on. This would make life horrible. You'd always be depressed. Nobody would enjoy being around you. Now, how would you help out a buddy in this predicament? You could use the Socratic method, which could be dangerous, or you could use another collection of linguistic tricks to shake loose their false beliefs and put in much more enjoyable beliefs, all while making them laugh uncontrollably. On one hand, it would feel like you were telling them a bunch of silly stories, but after they got done laughing, all their problems would be gone. What would you do with such superpowers? To learn more, visit mindpersuasion.com forward slash confusion dash generator.